Hi, my name is Jim from uh, The Grey Curtain, and today we're going to be talking about keyboard stands. Uh, on stage stands and Sweetwater have been uh, in very much interested in uh, ways that uh, the keyboardist can be better served, uh, so I figured I would show you my stand. Uh, this is a partially assembled on stage Z stand. Uh, but as you see, I've had to very heavily modify it. Um, this dangle of cables, uh, all this stuff is zip-tied. And, and what this is, is this is uh, the power cables uh, that power my various pieces of gear. Now, when we think about uh, what's important in a keyboard stand, I think about three things. One. I need to be able to break down the gear so that we can move it in a car without breaking anything. Two, we need to set it up off stage before we play. You know, uh, my band, The Grey Curtain, we play a lot of 15 minute set changes. This means that the band that plays before us has five minutes to get off the stage and we have 10 minutes to get all of this gear on the stage. If I had to run all of the power cables all of the, the instrument uh, cables or line inputs or, or whatever, very complicated setup. If I had to do all that from scratch, we would lose a lot of time that would cut into our set. So this is all of my power cables. And basically, it's all just sort of, uh, you know, uh, strapped on here. Um, this stuff gets caught on things. This is not a good system but it's the best that I could do. And, um, and then this way, when I put the gear on the stage, I can very easily just grab the plugs and plug them in. Another major problem is that all of the gear has different uh, sort of power units, right? You have like your Edison cable, and then you have uh, sort of power bricks that end in just a standard plug, and then you have these power brick things that you know they plug in. And the problem is that they, they fall out or uh, you know during transport or even on the stage and then uh, that adds stress to the cable uh, so again you know this is a, a major obstacle that uh, that we have to get past okay now this is the second stage to my Z stand the, the second tier and this is where I have mostly instrument cables of, and, and MIDI cables and things uh, and as you see they're also just sort of tied off with cable ties but this is how they're transported, and this is, uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't want to say dangerous, but it's tricky because this stuff gets caught on things. But, you know, but this way, uh, I, can, I can transport it like this in a car, and then before we play a show, when I'm off stage, I can just undo all this stuff and hook it up to the next piece of gear I'm going to show you. This is the next stage of my setup. Now, first of all, this is a Behringer digital uh, mixer that, that I plug all of my inputs into, and this processes all of my sounds. Now, uh, the first thing you'll notice is that actually this is not uh, this unit that it's made, that, that it's uh, sort of screwed into here, is a, is a rack unit that's designed to attach to keyboard stands, but sorry on stage, this is actually a Q-Lock system. Uh, and it was not designed for this keyboard stand, but it just so happens to fit. Now the problem is that, um, you know, this, uh, this is now sort of locked in here, and I have to either take this stuff out of the rack every single time, or, or just be very careful about transporting it. So, you know, this is a bit of a liability. But the other thing is that, you know, you have, uh, a, it, before I, I use this, I used compressors and a line mixer and all that stuff fits fit into a rack as well. And that just doesn't work with this system. So, you know, when I look at a Z stand, I see that it's very, very stable, but I kind of look at all this space here and I think, man, wouldn't it be great to be able to attach and detach equipment racks um, with ease um, to a keyboard rig? Now, the other thing is that a lot of keyboardists today use uh, Euro rack modules. And there again, wouldn't it be great if, if some of this space here, uh, you could actually uh, screw in pieces of equipment that could then be set up off stage uh, before we played and, uh, and, and, and then could easily be transported 
and could uh, could sort of be part of your, your live set. Okay, now you're seeing everything on the keyboard, uh, on the keyboard stand. So what you see is that I've carefully measured out these cables so that they plug into the various inputs and outputs of all of my various pieces of gear. And then those run to my mixing board, okay? Now, again, this is where a patch bay would be really great, where before we play the show, you know, when we're off stage, I could plug in the cables on the top that plug in here and then plug them wherever I need to go. And, and uh, you know, not only do we need inputs and outputs, but we also need things like effect sends or some sort of an effects loop or a splitter. Also for a keyboardist, MIDI would be great. And again, you know, uh, nine volt power would be great. Uh, AC power would be great. You know, all these cables are just uh, strapped uh, to these stands. And then what I have to do is, uh, you know, I have to, when I'm setting all this up, I have to think, which cables am I gonna attach to the Z stand, the top tier of the Z stand, and which ones am I gonna attach to the bottom? And then when I plug it all together, I have to mix and match. So this is all very, very complicated, and there's lots of points of failure, and you have all these cables, and it all takes time. And again, this is the streamlined version of, of what I do. Now this is the way uh, things look from the keyboardist's perspective. And what you notice is that we have a standard two-tier setup here, but we also have all this other gear. And this stuff is literally Velcroed uh, to the top of, uh, of the core triton. You know, I've had mixers Velcroed, I've had guitar pedals, you know, this is an effect pedal, and, uh, and here's more Velcro up here. And, you know, a, a problem could be easily solved by spacing uh, these two tiers differently and having some sort of a table so that these were, would, you know, swivel in here and then uh, I could Velcro things to, uh, to these, the, you know, the stand uh, and have, have them placed, you know, so there, there could be a shelf here with all kinds of different uh, units. And again, those units could be sort of pre-wired, right? I could, I could hook them up when I was off stage. So then the whole goal is that I just bring the whole unit, um, you know, all this stuff, the small stuff, um, would be attached to the shelf, it would be Velcroed, it would be secured, it would be wired up to the patch bay or whatever it was, and then the whole stand could easily move on stage, and then all I would have to do is place my main keyboards that are bulky that we'd have to move separately. So another nice option would be, you know, if we had a, a um, you know, a, a stage snake or, or a patch bay of some sort, right, that all this gear is plugged into, then we could use a, a modular snake. So a modular snake looks like an old school printer cable, right? It's multi-pin and it's got whatever breakouts on the end. You can have XLR, you can have quarter inch, you can have RCA, right? And now I could send, I could plug one end of that into, uh, you know, into this uh, keyboard stand and I could send another one to either a guitar pedal stand or maybe a different, uh, a different onstage keyboard stand. Um, and, and there again, I could run multiple units together to have some sort of ins and outs, um, all coming together in a centralized, organized location. Um, now, again, I've done that sort of on my own, but, um, you know, but that could be built into the system. So, you know, if you see here, um, you know, I mean, no, the way I'm using my keyboard stand, the way I've modified it, no uh, single inch of space is being wasted. So there could easily be rack unit mounted here that could be, you know, Euro rack for synthesizers, or down here could be compressors, effects, EQs, whatever it is, you know, attached to the actual lights, uh, to the actual uh, stand. Why aren't there LED lights? So I could just, uh, you know, turn them on and I could illuminate uh, my keyboards. Uh, I could illuminate uh, maybe a pedal board. Um, you know, um, it, so all of these things are, you know, integrating the electronics we use every day 
you know, um, you know, sends uh, for maybe lights um, to control fog machines, um, MIDI ins and outs, USB ins and outs, USB power. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of keyboard um, controllers uh, they run on USB now, so they, you need a powered USB bus. But again, this is all stuff that could easily be built into a keyboard stand, uh, so we wouldn't have to be using zip ties and, and duct tape. Um, and, you know, yes, there is a market for this. Um, you know, there are uh, the, the, the Eurorack, uh, you know, um, industry is, is expanding very, very rapidly. And frankly, if I had a good keyboard stand uh, that had the ability to easily integrate that, I myself would use Eurorack. Um, you know, there are lots of these small synthesizers. There are uh, the, the Micro Brute, the Mini Brute, uh, the Mini Nova, uh, the, uh, the Korg Volkas, uh, the Roland uh, Boutique series. You know, there's all these small synthesizers that have a very small footprint. And, you know, if they could easily be integrated because they don't take up a lot of space. You know, the alternative is I could throw units like this Micro Brute into a pedal board um, and put that pedal board on a keyboard stand. But now I've bought a pedal board and a keyboard stand. It just, it seems like a waste when you could have a keyboard stand that was set up for that. Um, so yes, there is a market and, uh, and, and, and yes, lots of cool things uh, could be done with this, this equipment. So I wanna thank Sweetwater and, uh, and Onstage Stands and any other uh, manufacturers that are you know, interested in, in looking into the needs of, of keyboardists and synthesizer players and maybe, uh, maybe building us a new era of keyboard stand uh, to bring us into, uh, to bring keyboard stands and synth stands into the 21st century. Uh, you know, the internet of everything is here, uh, so why is a keyboard stand just a hunk of metal? Uh, it's time to move on. Uh, thanks a lot.